Okay, let's take a look at a couple different ways that you can put a nice soft edge on your image. And we're going to start with an image that I photographed this actually for my wife for her eBay business. And the file size on this is a little bit less than a meg. It's about 900K. So we're going to start with using the marquee tool. And this is all going to be relative to the file size. So we're going to be setting the marquee tool feather at 20. So let's set this at 20. And now we're going to take the uh, cursor. We're going to put it on one end. and just going to drag it to the opposite end. Diagonal down so it's roughly about even all the way around. And notice we have a little bit of a smooth effect on the corners. Now, in this case here, I'm using, I'm going to be deleting this, but the, in the background, in this case here, I want to make sure that we have the background color set to white. So the foreground color is black and the background color is white. And this is the default colors on Photoshop. Actually, we're using Photoshop 7. I prefer using this version over the CS versions for this type of photography since they're relatively small files and they're JPEGs. So, okay, that said, we're going to click on, actually, okay, now we have to inverse the selection because we have the center part selected. So we're going to inverse that. Shortcut is Control-Shift-I. So notice that once we do that, we have selected the outside area now of the marching ants that we originally selected. So. Let's click on delete once, twice. So we get a nice softening effect by using the marquee tool. So that's one way. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm going to go back. Let's say we set the feathering at 120 for this file size. Now, 120 might be good on a much larger file size, but for this, I want to show you the effect that you're going to get. So now we're going to select roughly the same area. Now you can see we get more of an oval. So this is going to turn out to be a very, very smooth effect. Control shift i is going to inverse the selection. Now if we delete it, you could see that it's very, very smooth and we're almost softening the whole thing up. Unless that's what you want, but in this case we're not looking to do that. So, so I just wanted to show you that so you can see the difference when changing your feathering on that. Okay, the other way is using your lasso tool. Now we're going to keep the feathering about the same. Let's make it 20. Let's make it 20 pixels and then we're going to take our lasso tool and this is going to be more of a free form or freestyle. So we're just going to roughly just make it a little bit soft right about there and we're going to hit Control Shift I again. We're going to inverse the selection. Now we're going to hit delete. In this case, we get a nice smoothing effect too, but it's more of a free form. And this is good too if this is what you want to do. Another real good way of getting a smooth edge is take your marquee tool again. We're going to keep it set at the same thing at 20, 20 pixels. And this time, we're going to select it a little bit closer in towards the center. And except this time we're going to copy this. So control C, we're going to copy this. Let's say you want to copy this onto a uh, format that's similar to a header. Of course, you can resize this after it's all done, but let's just paste this onto here. So there it is. Now here's our image, but let's say, for instance, you want to get it a little bit smoother, showing less of the lines. So we could Still using your marquee tool, we can bring it over. We could just maybe cut off a little bit more. Now, again, in this case, we're going to be deleting everything around the marching ant. So we have to select inverse. So Control Shift I and then delete. And there it is. So that's going to bring it in a little closer now. Just going back to the move tool. Let's just make a couple copies of this layer. I'm just going to copy these layers here. Just want to show you something else that's really interesting that you can use 
when you work on several different images you don't have to have a a single type background you could change your background to different colors you could change your background to a gradient and I'm just going to show you as an example so right now we have three images and then we're going to change the background so let's go to the background layer which is the bottom one here called background and we're going to put a gradient on here using two different colors we're going to be using and the gradient that I chose here is actually the linear gradient and we're going to be selecting a bright red okay a bright red and then for the other color we're going to use a dark going to make this more or less black so we're going to have the red in the foreground here. Black is going to be in the background using our gradient. Of course, we're going to make sure that we're on the background. Okay, let's take the cursor. We're going to start from the top left. and drag it down towards the bottom right. This is going to give us a nice gradient. See, that's kind of interesting too because this has some of the colors in here as the images. So it's a nice, nice way of having a nice background and maybe just getting some nice blends in there okay next I'm going to show you how you can blend three images together so you can incorporate these two methods if you want to so let's take a look at that